everybody to the Single on Stiletto show. I'm Suzanne Oshima and I'm the founder of Single on Stilettos and I'm also a matchmaker and dating coach at Dream Bachelor and Bachelorette. Today we have on our show is Joe Amoya and I'm so excited to have him here. He's a dating and relationship strategist and his site is called Smarter Dating for Women. So welcome Joe to the show. Thank you, Suzanne. It's such an honor to be here with you today. I know. I'm so excited to have you because we're going to talk about a really fun topic today, and that's the red flags women need to watch out for when they're dating a guy. So before we get started, though, Joe, I would love to hear your background and how you got into doing this. Oh, wow. Boy, we might need three hours just for that. So I'll give you the Cliff Notes version. You know, okay. I'd, love, I'd love to say I was sitting at the beach or in the park and a, the bush started burning and God spoke to me, but it's really not happened. I went to school to be a chiropractor. And actually in dealing with my single patients over the years, who were like my second family, they would come in and, and give me their problems. And I'd be like, oh, you're just making it so much more difficult than it needs to. Long right. story short, I helped one. She's like, you got to teach people this. Women really need to hear this, but they need to hear it from a man. And that's really kind of how this all started. I, and, you know, it's funny that you say that. And that's one of the reasons why I started Single and Stilettos is because I really found that women needed to hear the male perspective because men and women think completely differently, as you know. You think. <laughs> you think? <laughs> uh, so let's get started. So tell us, what is a big red flag that women need to look out for when it comes to dating a guy? Well, you know, before we do that, Suzanne, I always say we need to ask this more important question okay. is that why aren't we seeing the red flags? Ah, that's a good one. I because, love that. Because my belief is that the red flags are always there. So we're either not picking them up simply because we're not trained to see them or they're there, but we don't want to see them. Oh, and you know, it's funny. I think that's very, very true. And I see that with a lot of women is that they do know the red flags are there. Women are very, very intuitive. So we know it's there, but we think, well, God, he's such a great guy. And you kind of let things go because you're like, you want it to work out, right? Right. It's because we're seeing the good part of the relationship. Mm -hmm. And so that's benefiting us in a way. And so we don't want to look at the other part because if we look at the other part, then we're going to have to make some choices and decisions that we really don't want to make. Right. I, I completely agree. So tell us, what is the big red flag? Well, the first one is that what will help women with the red flags is they've got to be crystal clear on the end result that they want. See, when you're clear on what you want and where you want to go and what you're looking for, then it's really easy to identify the red flags. So, okay. For instance, when I was dating my wife, I had come out of a really bad relationship. I was engaged for some, to someone who I never even should have been in a relationship with. Mm -hmm. And so I learned from that relationship to identify the red flags. What are those things that I wasn't looking for? And as a result, as I went forward and I started dating, it helped me to key in. Oh, you know what? Someone who doesn't keep their word. Someone who says one thing and does another. Someone who doesn't, is financially irresponsible. Right. You know, it helps you to really key in on doing those things. Yeah, and I think like those things that you were talking about are values, right? So you, those are key things that you really can't go, oh, well, that's not a big deal, right? Right, right. It, it's what I call essential needs. It's because it, it's like food, water, and air. You need those things to survive. And if you're going to spend the rest of your life with a man, which is what most women's idea is, it's, it's what they're looking for. If you're going to do that, there are certain things that you absolutely positively must have from that man. And if you don't get them, he's never going to give them to you. Right. So be upfront, be honest from the beginning. Right. And I think that's a really good point because then if you know that in the beginning, you're not going to sway as to, oh, well, I'm just going to keep dating him because he's just a great guy. You'll know right away, right? right? There's a difference between a good guy and a great guy. And there's a difference between a good relationship and a great relationship in marriage. Absolutely right. So, and, I'm sorry, go ahead. And that's really the goal of, you know, I know your goal and it's my, is not just to help people get in another relationship. Who needs another crappy, unhappy, unfulfilling relationship? Exactly, yeah. exactly. It, it's those people who can get to their life saying, you know, how blessed I was to have this great person to share my life with. Exactly. So what's another red flag women should watch out for? Well, the biggest one, it, it's really... Simply observe a man's actions. Okay? Simply see how he lives his life. You know, from the first date, how does he treat the wait staff? Is he condescending and rude to the waitress? Because mm -hmm. guess what? He's going to be that way to you. It's true. Okay? 
you know, look at the relationships he has, you know, with his family. Is he close with his family members or does he not talk to them? You know, and, and explore that, you know, and if he's not open, he doesn't want to go there. Well, he's showing you he's not a man that's going to be open. How are you going to have a relationship with a man who doesn't open up and doesn't express to you and communicate with you? Because guess what, ladies? He ain't going to be doing that six months, six years down the road. So I have a question for you because, you know, women, we have no problems telling everybody our feelings, right? But I always find with some men, it's they may not be so open in the very beginning, right? But then they just need a little coaxing to be able to open up. So how does a woman get a guy to open up more to her? You know, that's an awesome question. And I say it's the difference between interviewing somebody and interrogating them. <laughs> Okay. I know. Women tend to interrogate. Oh, yeah. You know, so where do you want to be in five years? How many kids do you want? Yeah. How much money do you make? You know, a guy smells that, and what he says is, this is a woman with an agenda. Right. She's not interested in me. She's just interested in getting married, and she's just looking for me to walk her down the aisle. Exactly. But if you just simply sit back and interview someone and simply ask them questions, find out about them. Find out about their life. Do they have any dreams, any aspirations? Where mm -hmm. do they want to go? And as long as the guy feels safe, he's the right guy. He's going to open up and he's going to share. Now, I do need to preface this by saying there's a difference between men and boys. Okay. Tell okay. us the difference. Sure. So I will explain. I've got three boys. They're 10, 8, and, and 5. Right. Okay. They want what they want when they want it. You know, that's just what boys do. That's my job as their dad is to teach them this is not how life works. There right. are consequences to your choices and decisions, and your choices and decisions affect others. Right. And there's some guys who never get that message. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's about them. They want what they want, what they want, when they want it, and they're going to say and do whatever they can to get what they want, and they don't care how it affects a woman. Those are the kind of guys that you avoid. Right, and I think every but every woman has dated a guy like that. Everyone, I, I have. I, 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 only one, Suzanne. <laughs> I know. Well, recently one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Come on. Let's be honest here. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong. It's how we learn in life. We learn from our mistakes. You know, I, I say it's not a mistake if you learn from it. It's an expensive learning experience. Right. And so, go ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead. And, and so the key is to recognize there are these boys, and you've got to avoid those. And they're pretty obvious. I mean, you know it, don't you, when you come across a guy like that? Well, and this is what I always tell a woman. A good, a, a good indicator of between men and boys, and you're, you'll love this one, is when a woman says, like, if a guy's too, moving too fast, because usually it is the boys that are moving too fast and want to get you into bed right away, right? right. And so if you, obviously, you could sleep with him right then if you want to, but if you tell him you, you're not ready, it's how he handles it. A man will handle it with grace and understand that you're not ready right. and he'll, you know, he'll wait. But right. a boy will, I've seen boys pout. Whether yeah. they're in their 20s or in their 50s. Yeah. And you're absolutely right because that's the difference between a man and a boy. A man realizes that you have feelings and right. his choices and decisions affect you. And as long as that man sees that that's an investment, a mm -hmm. wise investment in his time, he'll invest three weeks, three months, six months. As long as he knows in a reasonable amount of time that investment is going to pay off. And you know, one thing ladies can do is be clear on what your intention is. Right. And so as long as man knows that and he's able to choose – if that investment is going to pay off, it usually isn't a problem. If he's a man, if he's a boy, then he'll pout. He'll use, you know, it's the, it's, you know, the new millennium and, you know, women have equal rights and it's just sex. You know, all those stories that the boys use. Well, and I'm glad you just brought that up. You said a very key phrase. It's just sex. And that's what it is for a boy that's just trying to get you into bed. He's not looking for a relationship. It's yeah. just sex to him. Yeah. Men don't need, I, I would love you for you to elaborate on this, is men don't need an emotional connection to sleep with a woman. Right. It, it, there's, men look at it like this. It's like a pizza and there's eight slices. Sex is simply one slice of the pie. Right. Okay. It's not any more, any less than the other. Where women, sex is like 90% of the pie. Right. And then there's the other. And so they think by giving up that slice, it means more. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Where it, it doesn't mean more. It doesn't mean less. It's simply another piece of the pie to the guys. Exactly. And, you know, I want to elaborate on one more thing that you were talking about is a man's actions. And one of the things that I know is to watch his actions and not his words, because men can talk all day about, oh, you're so and And then if he doesn't follow through, that says a lot. I would love for you to tell us your perspective on that. You know, and one of the biggest red flags 
it's not just his actions, but I want to consistent actions. Good point. I love that you said that. Okay, because a man will say, and this is where women get trapped. Oh, you know, he brought me flowers. You know, he said he was sorry. You know, he held the door. We had such a great time at the beach. And so they'll use that to ignore all the other shit that the guy does. Exactly. And, you know, and a smart man knows that if he just buys the few gifts that she'll forget about whatever red flag she see. You know, I just went through this with one of my clients earlier is, you know what? Guys will give you what you show them they can give you. Mm -hmm. And so if you're clear on your boundaries, you're clear on your standards and you show a guy that you're not going to tolerate that crap, you're going to attract better quality of men and because you're going to scare those boys away because you know what those boys know that there are thousands other women that they can get away with that crap with that's a really really good point right. so what's another red flag i mean the biggest one is you know i hear this all the time you know is i want a good man well you know what simply look for his integrity you cannot have a good great honest and fulfilling relationship with a man who doesn't have integrity so mm -hmm. simply look at his integrity in every aspect of his life okay Okay? And that's huge because does he call right from the beginning? Does he call when he says he's going to call? I know every woman out there is going, yeah, when he says he's going to call, he never calls. Why is that? Right. And this is the thing is who cares? You know, I hear this all the time. I need to understand why. Right. You know, every if, woman wants to know why. Right. If your house was burning, do you need to understand why or you just need to get the hell out? That's very true. Very you know, true. I mean, we, we make this, and it, it's simply human behavior. It's our emotions complicate things. I mean, if women just learn to manage their emotions and take their emotions out of the equation, their life would be so much easier. Exactly. And, you know, uh, let's talk about ignoring a red flag. This is what I hear all the time. When the guy hasn't called, a lot of women will say they'll make excuses for him. Yeah. Well, he was really busy. He's traveling. Um, last time I checked, when you travel, you get, still got your cell phone. <laughs> Well, in this day and age, no matter what, you could be on the moon. Exactly. And there's some mode of communication that you could get to to the other person. And sometimes I'd be like, look, you know what, I'm sorry I'm running a little late. You know, I'll call you later. Or, you know, I know I said I was going to call, but I'm in a meeting, I'm running late. Right. You know, and this is where we show, let a guy's action show you. I remember one time when I was dating, there was a girl that I was supposed to go out with, and I got caught in New York. I live right outside of New York City. Mm -hmm. And. I'm like, oh, crap, I got to call. And this was the day of pay phones. Right. And, it's, and it's like I literally had to pull off the highway into a Bennigan's and go to the pay phone and call and say, look, you know, I, I knew I said I was going to call, but I'm just running late. Can I call you in an hour? See, but that's integrity. You well, took the time out. Right. And, but it's, you know, this is the difference. Between, and I'm not saying I'm anything special because there's lots of guys like me out there. But you've got to let them show you that from day one. See, Integrity is a lot like being pregnant. You either have it or you don't. Exactly. And if you don't have it, you can't make somebody get There's no selective, selective integrity, just like there's no selective pregnancy. Well, and I think the other point is, is that someone can't learn integrity. It's, Absolutely. You know, it, yeah. you either, like you said, you either have it or you don't. Right, right. This is a big red flag, is that if you're with a man and you need to teach him to be the man you want him to be, you remember the, co the cartoon The Roadrunner? Yes. Beep, beep, shh, and get the hell out of there. I, I think that's so true. And I hear this all the time is when complain to me, my clients, is that the man is not being the man, that they, they don't understand why he can't do this or that. And you know what? You can't teach an old right. dog new tricks. Right. It's not that he's not being the man. He's not being the man you want him to be. Right. Oh, that's he's, a good point. <laughs> right. He's the man he is. And see, this is the beauty of if you just simply sit back and you're clear on what you're looking for, mm -hmm. you let the man expose if, if he's a man, if he's a boy, or if he's the right man for you. Because there's a huge, huge, huge difference. Exactly. So do you have any more red flags for us? I, I think the biggest one, and this is the telltale sign, is if you are consistently upset, frustrated, angry, sad, or resentful towards your man. Okay, if you're doing that and you're experiencing that on a regular basis, it's because your needs aren't being met. Right. And I love that you say that because that's not how a relationship should be. No. I mean, obviously, you're not going to be happy 100 percent of the time, but you surely shouldn't be, you know, angry or annoyed that he hasn't called or done this or done that or complaining about him constantly because then that means it's not working. Right. You know, it, you're 100 percent right in this context of life. 
and a, the way the relationship works, it's there are challenges. There are speed bumps. Life is going to throw stuff at you. Exactly. And if you if you aren't on the same page, those speed bumps are like cracks in the ice. Mm -hmm. They just make that ice crack and it gets bigger and bigger until ultimately you all fall in. And so if you were clear on that from the beginning and you were honest with yourself and your feelings, it's so much easier to observe if the right guy, if the guy is the right guy for you. Exactly. Well, I loved all these red flags that you pointed out that I know every woman, woman out there has seen, but she's probably ignored. So ladies, you really have to pay attention to those red flags and stop dating the men that are wasting your time. So one last question for you, Joe, and that is give us your best dating tip for women. You know, the best dating tip is simply be you. Don't be somebody you're not. Don't say something you're not. Don't wear something you're not just to get a guy. Because at the end of the day, you're going to go back to being yourself, and he's going to realize that's not what he's looking for. And this works both ways. Mm -hmm. And so simply show up as the best you you can be. And when you do that, the guy who is right for you will fall in love for you for who you are, warts and all. That's a great, great point. Because, you know, again, you're, it's like you said, you're going to have to be yourself at some point. So don't pretend that you like all the things he does when you really, really don't because he's going to figure it out later on, right? Yeah, it puts all this pressure on us to be something we're not. And you could do it for a little while. And men do the same exact thing. You know, they say or do, oh, I'm going to show up, I'm going to bring you flowers, I'm going to text you, I'm going to call And then once they get you, all that stops. Exactly. And exactly. so that's, that's why it's the, it's the probation period. You know, just put a man on probation. Let him show you if he's worth hiring. That's a, you're the second person to say that to me this week, is that it's like a job interview. Women have to realize that he's interviewing for that job of your husband or, ab boy, ab or ab boyfriend. Ab absolutely. You know, Fortune 500 company, they put somebody through a rigorous process before they pay him six figures. Exactly. There's but, a reason why. But I will preface that with don't ask him a million questions on dates because then you're interrogating him and you're interviewing him. You just have to get to know him. Right. Well, you know what? I'm going to respectfully disagree there because interviewing is important. I don't you don't want to waste your time when I was in. I didn't want to waste my time. So there were questions I was looking for answers. But when you successfully interview, they don't realize they're being interviewed. It's just normal conversation. Right. So I'm, what I'm just trying to say right. is do it in normal conversation, but don't Absolutely. shoot out one question oh, yeah. after another because then he's like, oh, my God, yeah, how many yeah. more questions you got here? Yeah, you can't sit there with the list. Okay, question <laughs> number one, how many kids do you want? Question number two, how much money do you make? Question number three, when do you want to get married? Right. You know, guys smell that stuff a mile away. Exactly, and you can be subtle about it in asking those questions, and women are very, very good at that. So, ladies, take note of that. Absolutely. So, Joe, how can our audience find you? Well, the quickest way is simply go to our website, which is www.smarterdatingforwomen.com. Okay, great. And do you have a free gift for our audience today? A absolutely. I've written an ebook. It's called The ABCs of Smarter Dating, 26 Tips and Strategies to Immediately Improve Your Love Life. I'm not a person who's big on fluff. You know, I like real-life strategies, mm -hmm. you know, things that we can do right now to create results. And so there are 26 different things that you know, people can use to really start creating different, better results in their life. Well, that's because you're an East Coast guy. You just tell it straight, right? You can... Look, it, ab absolutely. Italian, <laughs> born in the Bronx, live in New Jersey. Doesn't get more direct than that. Exactly. Don't waste anybody's time. I love that. Life is too short. Let's Ex be real. Show up who we are and then make it the best we can. Exactly. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining us on the Single on Stiletto show. If you're listening to our podcast, this, this show is available, and actually all our shows are available in video format on our site, singleonstilettos.com. And if you'd like to get our free report on what attracts a man and what turns him off, you can go to singleonstilettos.com, or you can click right here on the video. Thanks again, and have a great day.